So here, we've got some missing number problems for finding a fraction of a number. Now we know that normally, to find a fraction of a number, we divide by the denominator and multiply by the numerator. But here, because we know our answer, but we don't know the total quantity, we've basically got a missing number problem, so we need to do the opposite, or use the inverse. We need to divide by the numerator and then multiply by the denominator. So, two-fifths of what equals 10? We can do 10 divided by two, so divide by the numerator to get five. Then we can take that five and multiply by the denominator to get 25 as our total quantity. And that makes sense, because 25 divided by five is five, and then five times two is equal to 10. So now, 5 sixths of what equals 15? Again, we've got a missing number problem, so rather than dividing by the denominator, we need to divide by the numerator, and 15 divided by five is three. Then we can take that three and multiply it by the denominator. That gives us 18 as our total quantity. And we can check that this works, because 18 divided by 6 is 3, and then 3 times 5 is 15. Finally, 3 fifths of what equals 15? It's a missing number problem, so instead of divide denominator, we can divide by the numerator, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So then, we can take that 5 and multiply by the denominator, to give us our total quantity of 25. And again, we can check that it works. 25 divided by five is five, times three is 15. So let's look back to this first question and think about what we were doing. We knew that two fifths of something was 10. So we can show a fraction bar split into fifths and we have two fifths. Now we know that 10 is in those two fifths. So what we did is divide 10 by two. That gave us five, and that told us that there were five counters in each of our fifths. But if there are five counters in each of our fifths, there must be five counters in these other fifths as well. So we multiplied five by five to get 25, because there are five fifths in our whole quantity and if you count how many counters we now have all together, we have 25. Then, we knew that 5 sixths of something was 15. So we can show a fraction bar split into sixths, and we have 5 sixths. We know that 15 is in those 5 sixths. So what we did is divide 15 by 5, and then we knew that there must be 3 counters in each sixth. So, there are three counters in this sixth as well. What we did was we took the three, and then we multiplied by six, because there are three counters in each of our six sixths. That gave us 18 as our total quantity. Finally, we knew that three fifths of something was 15. We can show a fraction bar with three fifths, and we know that 15 counters need to be shared across those three fifths. So we divided 15 by three, so that we knew that there were five counters in each of our fifths. But if there are five counters in each fifth, there must be five counters in these other fifths as well. So we multiplied by five to get 25 as our total quantity. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.